Brought to you by the Mike Morris Law Firm. 855 Mike Wins coming to you from downtown Detroit. It is Jason Carr. Live. You can kill the music. Yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just watching Bullet. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? I still haven't. What? I know. You, you, you told me I have to see it. I, I didn't forget about it. I'm just you one of the jerks. <laughs> How is Edison? He, he's dope. Like, uh, like it, it's, it's funny seeing him in the, in, in that, what, what's that thing called? The swaddle? Yeah. Uh, have you perfected the swaddle? Well, we, we have the, the halo, so, you know, it, it has the Velcro, so it's fine. But he's always trying to break out of it, so he's like, sure. eh, eh, you know what I mean? So it doesn't work the way that I would want it to because he, he's very annoying trying to break out of that all the time. But it is fun to watch. Hold on a second. This is where it gets good. You right? Oh, listen to that Mustang. Close up of the bad guys with their leather hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> An 11 year old girl going for a hugging world record in DC. Grace Roberts hugged 103 people in 55 seconds, setting the world record for the most hugs in a minute. <laughs> don't look like, the don't, music don't look is like great. To me. <laughs> this is almost better than the chase and bullet. It's part of the week-long Cure Fest at the National Mall. What was that? No, I was just saying the the, the video uh, went with the the music very well, where she was giving those very weird and heartless hugs. I know she's like, <laughs> there it is. In a town in Iceland, an interesting development has popped up. A crosswalk has been painted to appear like the lines are. Floating in thin air. They, they see the young men painting it. And one of them having a, a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Any minute now, there's going to be a, a Dodge and a Ford screaming around that street right, right there. Try, trying to get around those, those crosswalks. Yeah, good, good old, uh, good old ivories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a dog day afternoon yesterday at a community pool in Germany. At the end of the season, the outdoor pool becomes a dog paradise. Full, please. There it is. There it is. Who knew that the Fido's and the pooches made such revving sounds while they were swimming. Like, it, it was when they were like shaking the water off. <laughs> <laughs> this works. <laughs> Those legs. Comple completely unplanned and accidental. <laughs> the legs were moving so fast, they started screeching. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we found a whole another level of enjoyment in this video. It certainly improves it. <laughs> Absolutely. Completely unplanned. Ooh, ooh, that was nice. Did you see that? <laughs> Listen, I couldn't, I couldn't make that happen again if I wanted to. That was, they're on the streets of San Francisco going down the hills. <laughs> How was this happening? I swear to you, this is not planned. not supposed to link up flawlessly. Well, like there it does not. Very right. 
But that's only because it, uh, the, the video has looped at this point. Okay, so what's rich and compelling? Now I have to know. And now I don't even, it doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> Is anybody watching this, by the way? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, we're, we're at 114, so that's, that's not too bad. What is rich and compelling, by the so, way? <laughs> that that was that was something. Okay, so, and, and here's the funny thing: I might even be able to ask you about this. I've seen this uh, video before, um, but I don't remember what the details were behind it. So that, that's that's me uh, that's me getting ready to show it to you and Let's stalling at the same time. <laughs> All right, what do you have? Here we go go here and to this so this is an airplane and the landing strip yeah this is in um, where is this of course now I can't remember it it's like the craziest short throw runway in right. the world and the planes literally skim over people on the beach as they land and, and people go to that spot specifically because they know where it is so they could take pictures and whatnot and i guess get a burst of that uh oh there is engine. there's video of people being knocked down that's right for sure so yeah i i just i needed to get to that and get that out of the way so we could have a short conversation about it but that that was my rich and compelling wow Indeed, we do. Wait, what happened? Uh, we have several winners, apparently. Oh, hold up, let me. Uh... Several. <laughs> let, let me say. Hey, uh, Megan, go uh, practice downward uh, dog or uh, <laughs> tranquility pose or whatever. I don't, I don't know my yoga, but. Um, Good morning. Good morning. We've a whole night lots of winners, according to Rachel Lajo Slovenak. But you know that um, here. At WDIV, mm -hmm. WNBC. Um, I just love this. It's an epidemic. <laughs> Bye, Jody. See you later. Have a good one. I, I, obviously, I missed all this. Good to you. Can you kill the audio on this? Hang on. Just, just, just let the video play. Ready? Of course. This is for the trolls. the morning to you trolls That's i'm in a right. special mood today <laughs> so bring it um topping the things you've never asked for category is the mac and cheese candy canes they're sold by a store in seattle called archie mcphee uh they spe uh, specifically call it the instant mac and cheese flavor which would be what the craft dinner That's as the right. canadians call it <laughs> they say the candy canes are comfort food that tastes like comfort food they're available now for 4.95 for a six pack could you imagine ever spending five dollars for six of those things um and also just just for folks so they can know that uh they also have a clam flavored candy cane clam decanes clam decanes i've heard of those only because you had it clam decanes <laughs> <laughs> clam decanes clam decanes clam decanes Yuck! I don't know how I don't know how stores get away with making these things and 
if you can do this, if you if you can uh, take time out to manufacture these, you're making too much money. Let me have some of it, because clearly you don't care anymore. Elizabeth Dugaro appears to be cracking up, <laughs> or she's making a yuck face. I can't tell which. Oh yeah, I I think that's a, 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 a bleh. Bleh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, Elizabeth, named after the number one sedan of 1980, revamped, <laughs> coming in 1981, the Dodge Dugaro. I I was almost here for that. Rich Corinthian leather. <laughs> AM FM eight track air conditioning. <laughs> so, so the I'm Dodge Dugaro, the sedan of your dreams, Kari Hobbs. Does, does it does it have to like? Does the leather have to come from a specific area for it to be Corinthian? Uh, cor Corinth, <laughs> <laughs> See, and it only leaves there via expert once they have smoothened all the rough edges. See, that's why I was being careful. Because I was like, Kari, don't say, does this leather come from Corinthia? Because <laughs> <laughs> right. I will never live that down. Uh, Paul Briulio, Briguglio, Briguglio, Brigulio, uh Paul B. Says, give me a shout out. All right, I just did. There it is. Oh, I remember... A little too tall, could have used a few pounds. Look at all points all around, sent way up high. We was in the back of a Dodge Dagaro. Well, going at it like there was no tomorrow. Working on our night moves. Going boom, boom. <laughs> sounds like the, the, a Bob Seger, you know. If we're, sure. If you're working on night moves, you're in the back seat of a Dodge Dagaro. Going at it. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no tomorrow, <laughs> but neither one cared. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Five little squirrels sitting in a tree have quite a tale to tell. Do tell, Kari uh, Hobbs. Tell us about the Hydra squirrels. So, basically, I don't. No one knows how, but these squirrels—they're all uh, brothers and possibly sisters—and uh, they were in the nest together, and somehow their tails got caught in the nest that was made of you know, sticks and plastic that their mom got together. So they all got linked up and became a star of squirrels. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now thankfully, um, the, the folks at the uh, Wisconsin Humane Society, they were able to get them free um, and, and now they're all uh, separated. But they're just gonna keep an eye on them for a couple of days to make sure that their tails are fine. But yeah. It's a very, very strange turn of events. In 1980, you might have been the coolest dude in your neighborhood <laughs> if you had a Stutz Bearcat. Right. But if you had a Dodge Dugaro. <laughs> you couldn't be stopped. Talking about balling. I mean, big pimping. Rolling it's down the street, the kids are all chasing after you. Right. Pointing out, like, that's my car. Yep. That's right, that Stutz Bearcat had nothing on a Dodge DeGaro. What are the odds that, I wonder how many times uh, uh, Elizabeth has watched us, if at all, and now that we've uh, anointed her <laughs> with a Dodge uh, affiliation, whether right, she'll right. be back for more. <laughs> for sure. Like, especially, uh, you know, again, like now she is sponsored. So, you'll be back. Working on our night moves. Uh, over 350 national and international swimmers participated in the annual Swim for Alligator Lighthouse, an open water challenge where the participants swam to the lighthouse, rounded the beacon, and returned to the starting point. 31-year-old Miami resident was the top swimmer with a time of 2 hours, 55 minutes, and 36 seconds. The top female, a 29-year-old from Tampa, 3 hours, 4 minutes, 21 seconds. So this is an annual event that takes place to raise awareness of preserving the 145-year-old Alligator Reef Lighthouse. So I, I guess they really like their lighthouses in Florida. That's cool. Roberta Kessler Brandt dropping the Squirrel Nut Zippers reference. The candy or the band? Do you remember the Squirrel Nut Zippers? That's, I, that's, nope. 
<laughs> I, I couldn't even I couldn't even act like I knew what that meant. Squirrel nut zippers. That's an actual candy. It's a real thing. That does not sound appropriate in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> it's also the name of a uh, sort of an old timey ska swing band from like the late '90s, early 2000s. I would hope so. You and have they to had take a, advantage of that name. They had a minor hit um, called Hell, I think it was. <laughs> Zippers. Yeah, hell. It's such a, a very to-the-point title that it tickled me. It's a great tune. I have to tap to unmute. We'll ha probably have to sit through a... Nope, nope. Can you go back to the dogs? Kind of works with the dog. Listen. People listen attentively. I mean about future calamity. I used to think the idea was obsolete until I heard the old man dampen his feet. Maybe this video just works with any music. What's that? Maybe this video just works with any music. That's possible. That's, that's a thing. Okay, so finally... Because, you know, we can't just keep, uh, you know, keep on keeping on. Right. Oh, my God. Steve Kinkella still around commenting. Hundreds of Jane Austen fans from all over the world donned uh, 19th century costumes and paraded through the streets of Bath, UK. That was on Saturday that this happened. We actually have sound from this. For Steve. I didn't know that there was going to be like a Jason Paul Rick Roll situation going on. So like that, that caught me completely off guard. <laughs> it certainly makes it a lot more exciting. Because that looks like the most boring party of all time. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you killed me. Oh, <laughs> So yeah, you might you might have to uh, add that to the list of bits. Do we have a list of bits? Well, not a not a visible one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little playback from earlier. Right, right. right. Vicky Voikas Roman app is going to work. Like the two thousand four Pistons. Uh, Roberta Kessler Brandt is closing in about two weeks, buying what will be my son's old house in Westland. Ooh, well, congrats. Or Westland, if you prefer. Right. Here, dog, come on, dog. Me and dog want you to go to the Telegraph Road right now. Get a good deal. I, I, Ray Whitfield Ford in blah 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 and blah blah, blah Ford in Allen Park. I never remembered <laughs> like the name of of the company, but that song is legendary. Like it, it's always unfortunate when you make a song that's so good that that the product or or the name on it doesn't matter anymore. Like the fact that you remembered that is particularly special. I remember the animation, too. Same here. Halfway through the animation, the dog scratches a flea. That's right. While the guy's playing the guitar. Yeah. Here, dog, come on, dog. Me and dog wants to go to Telegraph Road right now. Get a good deal. I Whoosh. I feel like that might have been the one where, where I was like, I want to do jingles. Because it was too perfect. And I could never get it out of my head. And it's what, like 20 years later? 
20. It's, give or take. I don't know how long that like was. Like 30, 35 years oh, see, ago. Yeah, yeah, I was being kind. Mmm, <laughs> robocall. Click. Click. Yeah, those are always fun to get. Uh, Linnell asked, oh, well, she was just asking the, the entire lot if they went to the Lobster Fest at Hart Plaza. I uh, forgot about it. So, nope. What I did do, though, is that, um, so, okay, for anybody that doesn't know the last two years, of uh of our halloween specials i've done the music for it so i i wrote a song for this one yeah so i i uh, just want to give you a heads up that the song is done for this upcoming halloween special that's all i'm saying is it sugary it, it might be it, i i think it's sweet if that's a double entendre you'd be right What's the percentage of riboflavin in this particular <laughs> composition? I, I'm not I'm not certain, but I, I would say the the uh, the fructose and sucrose and glucose levels are relatively high. Chondroitin, glucosamine. <laughs> have, have you been listening to AM radio again? I I, I try. <laughs> oh. Here, dog. Come on, dog. Kelly Fitz is new to the area. She came from San Diego. Drink it in. Uh, uh, it's German, means a whale's... <laughs> that's no, no, I don't think that's what it means. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. <laughs> that is the exact translation. I'm Ron Burgundy. Go yourself, San Diego. <laughs> and, it, and he just hits the papers on the table so if nothing happens... Do, do, do. <laughs> Ron, I'm going to have to fire you. I'm going to have to fire you, Ed. Boom, boom, beep, boop, bop. Do you have any that idea is, what you just said? That is great. That is a great <laughs> film. Kelly Fitz, tell all your friends in San Diego to start tuning in at what it would be 6.15 in the morning their time. Ugh. And I will customize the content for them. I, I'm, I, I'm in. We will do an all San Diego show mm -hmm. if 70, I'm sorry, 73 people, 78 people, uh... Tune in from San Diego. Count me in. I, I am all about it. I will find the uh, six stories that are happening in San Diego. <laughs> they will be like something about a Comic Con, something about the weather, uh, something about some sort of weird street, and then we'll just have to make everything else up. And then something uh, regular there. And uh, something about a uh, panda, panda watch from, from the San Diego Zoo. Right. Uh, Ching, uh, King is back here. Yep. Get out here, you stupid. <laughs> Chirk. Yeah, he's a live, <laughs> he's a wild animal. He will literally rip your face off. <laughs> Kelly Fitz says, all righty, I'm all over it. Remember at the height of Jim Carrey mania when everybody was walking around going, oh, righty then. Righty then. That I wore out what real his, quick. What, what, what was going through his head during that, especially compared to the Jim Carrey of now, I'm assuming like when he was doing the Ace Venturas and, and, and the cable guys and whatnot, he was just like, everybody here should be fired. Everybody is stupid because that's what he's on now. So I'm assuming it was going on then, too. Tanya Randall, what's going on? Uh, um, thank you very much. Why, yes, I am wearing Sex Panther cologne. How, <laughs> how could you tell? <laughs> what was it? 65% of the, of the time? time it works, it works every, every time. time. Listen. Brian, that makes no sense. <laughs> That is perfect math. And then um, we were just getting over all righty then when uh, Yeah Baby came along, along with Waza! <laughs> oh, the, the Budweiser. We, uh, we really got inundated with catchphrases for like a smooth decade, like straight. You know what I mean? I'm like, going to make a t-shirt. I'm going to not tell you. Right. And it's going to say smoothens. 
and I'm just going to walk in here one day with a sport coat on, a pair of blue jeans, and a t-shirt that says smoothens, you and you're going to gonna lose your mind. When that happens, I'm just going to have to shut everything down, because <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to uh, perform my, my uh, producer duties after that happens, so do it, do it, do it if you want, <laughs> but that show is going to be one minute long. <laughs> what else have uh, we come up with besides smoothens? There was something on the heels of that that we were, it was like a band name or something that I was going to do. Man, you you've had you've had like a, a numerous amount of band names, and uh, I'll I'll gladly go back to the archives and check because. Uh, no, I doubt there's anything worth seeing there. <laughs> but. Yep, Mike John Jack. Time to watch Anchorman again. That's true. But not Anchorman 2. Woo, that was the antithesis of a good movie. Man, I went to New York for that premiere. Right. Terrible. So how, disappointing. How There's nothing could, memorable about it. You can't quote it. Only thing I remember is that it was a movie. How could a movie be so bad? I'll tell you in a second what I remember about that. I think, I think Drake was in it for like a second. Nobody's watching this because it's the you know the tail end of the show. Right, right. That's all the juice Newton you get on a Monday. <laughs> I told you I was in a mood. I don't remember, like, but what, what, did that happen in the movie? Like Juice Newton? Yeah, I mean, did they play that in the movie? So, no, okay. I just came out of left field. Gotcha. I just had a Juice <laughs> Newton moment. Just wanted to double check. Just Let's call me movie. Angel in the morning, baby. That's a good song. Uh, Linda Casella says, love that song. We're, we're one and the same. Kim Possible Martin is, will not be denied. She keeps posting. When do we get a new singing Edison Hobbs video? Uh, when he starts singing, probably. <laughs> uh, it, it, if it requires me to do some work, oh boy, that's going to be a, that's going to be a time. You know, quick quick sidebar, since we're like actually watching this uh, video from Ferris Bueller, what a ridiculous scene where people come out of literally nowhere with a dance routine ready to go. That's like right out of the Blues Brothers, another <laughs> Chicago movie that I love. This came out when I was Ferris Bueller's age. Right. And, you know, I'm right in the throes of that whole crazy high school experience where you're trying to figure out who you are and right. what it all means and all that. And I wanted to be Ferris Bueller in the worst way. I'm, I'm, I'm certain you weren't the only one. And did not want to be any of the chumps in the breakfast club. The, right. Dad doesn't talk to me. <laughs> well, you, you were I mean, for that. There was a fair amount of that from Cameron in Breakfast Club. Right. But not overpowering. I mean, the whole of the whole of Breakfast Club was all teenage angst. Right. Ferris Bueller was about him, like you know, giving the finger to the man and you know, getting away with it. Exactly. Which, which was probably the most shocking part of the movie, where it was like, no consequences. This is all fine. Like, hey, that's a that's that's a lesson too. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you can. <clears throat> Come up with the perfect crime as long as it's not a really bad one. Which Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. And, and, and the swing. And the sparrow. Like <laughs> All right, we're just winging it now. So may as well wrap things up and say toodles on a Monday and go do some television here. Live in the D in 13 minutes. I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thanks for the.